before the tripod uh, shoots off to the left. Good morning, Anna. And this morning we have Volcanoverse joining us again, which is great. If uh, he's just about up, I think. Let me look here. Yep. Volcanoverse is up. So if you want, jump over there, drop a pineapple, tell them uh, thank you. We appreciate their support. The Lob family growing. My lips are cold, so, and my cheeks are getting cold. Where's them hot pockets of yours? You always say no one. I know. So why do you want one now? Because <laughs> my cheeks are getting cold. So you're saying you want one. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Uh, I'll suffer. <laughs> Aloha, Lori. Good morning. Coming in, we are live up at Kilauea. Blue banana, two pineapples. We have our friends Volcano Verse on the other side, shooting it out across the, the world for us, which is pretty cool. It's gotta be, well, the truck said 54. It's probably about that out here, maybe a little cooler. Wind is blowing. It's 3.24 a.m. And there's not a soul up here but us. Well, I shouldn't say that. You never know who's walking around. Thank you all for joining us. Hit that like button. It really helps us out. Oh, Mr. Hager. Good morning. Hager's over a volcano verse. Aloha, Marepa. Swiper 1818. Aloha. Says, I visited Kilauea three or four times in the late 70s and early 80s. Loved it. Stayed at the volcano house, which I can see, by the way. It's totally clear out here right now twice and walked across the caldera which although it was very hot was safe yeah that's when you could walk out there across the caldera floor all right here we go Hali Mau Mau. did i get that right Mau Mau. Mau Mau. gosh dang it Morning, Gura. You know, surprisingly, the 1 a.m. alarm wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. About 6.37 last night, I was kind of, eh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Not too bad. But my eyes are fuzzy. I need these glasses.
those of you over at Volcano Burst, thank you so much for joining us. Live at the caldera. Full moon tonight, except for it's a little cloudy. Quakes 2.3, 639. Yeah, not too much happening. I think last night you mentioned it's been quite a few hours since there was a quake, huh? Honey Bear, good morning. Happy Easter to everybody. Nothing like those four points, was it 4.6, 4.0, 4.2 that woke me up the other night quite the shaker. I'm watching a Volcano versus Stream over there. Good morning. Lane, Aloha. I'm going to destroy some of these names. Eric, Aloha. Noticias, Aloha. Gloria, Thomas. Phil Connors. Wait a second. Phil Connors. Oh, there's that wind. Thanks, Aurelio. Yeah, I sent him a message. I kind of figured he was uh, out for Easter. does not make it easy, does it? I can't say enough. Thank you to Volcano Verse for giving us the opportunity to stream with them. We appreciate the the collab. Hermione, Aloha, Happy Easter. And that's my stomach. That's not the eruption. Here we go again. Too much sriracha on that char siu chicken. Pineapple members, thank you so much for joining me last night on the uh, Mr. P Hour. Hope you guys enjoyed that.
good action in that back right corner. Mars 2028, Loa. Anyone else here coming from SpaceX launch day? Mm -hmm. Nope, not me. I take it the launch uh, was successful. Quite a few years back, <clears throat> South Point, now Lehu, they uh, they wanted to put a launch pad down there. Hawaii said, absolutely not. That really would have been something for this island. Telescopes up on Mauna Kea and a launch pad down at South Point. Yep, there's currently no danger from killway. All activity is inside the summit caldera, in the caldera, in the caldera. Three miles by two miles, and uh, I think about 500 feet deep. We're sitting about a mile back right now. The flume is shooting down south and west, so and the wind's coming from the northeast. So we're not in any any danger or anything standing up here. And we're the only ones. Yeah, it's, it's not going to come out of this caldera for a while unless it shoots out a tube from the side somewhere, lower the bottom of the side. But we have a long ways to go, a couple years before she should uh, start spilling over. Which you all know could be five days, five weeks, five years. We never know. Yeah, there is, there's a lot of fog pushing right now. There's three, four, one, two, three, four, five areas. And, uh, and off to the bottom left, uh, there's fog coming up all over. Another reason why we wanted to come up early with sunrise happening a little bit earlier, we'd lose that 45 minutes hour that we like to have on the stream. Everything gets wonky with the sun. There's that flashlight out there again. Somebody creeping close. The launch is clarified military from Vandenberg. Uh, what are they putting up there? East Coast, no, West Coast U.S. should be waking up. Those of you uh, on the West Coast of U.S. should be getting ready to start making your dinners. Everybody else may be finished.
guys make sure you hit that thumbs up for us share us out if you're watching this on replay drop a comment down below No rooster sitting up here. Although in about two hours we may hear a pair of nanes cruise by. Now our house is a different story. Some morning them buggers are up early or like tonight. They just crow all night long. No earthquake, it's just uh, it's the wind. We keep getting 15 to 17 steady with a few blasts here and there. We're locked in tight, but we're on the edge of the, the caldera with no trees around us. There's nothing to block us from wind. See if that helps. I just gave her another turn around. Nope. It's just so much wind. Darlene, thanks for sharing it out. Follow. Did you just see what Aurelio put up there? Mm -hmm. He's sensitive to the sun. <laughs> the guy lives in Spain. In the sun. How can he be sensitive? Volcano time lapse. Aloha. He says, I'm Mediterranean, but blonde. So sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Irish, I get it. Temperature up here right now is probably 55. It was 54 in the truck on the on the drive into the park. Uh, it's probably that 54, 55. The wind makes it a little colder. And like usual, we're in uh, hoodies and parkas. Yeah, right now we're uh, sitting just about a mile back and the wind is coming from the northeast which is on our coming from our our right moving to our left did it snow here hmm might have up at Mauna Kea I think Laura was talking about that I can't see Mauna Kea. I can see Mauna Loa with the full moon. Mauna Kea is still too dark and it looks like clouds are covered it. But I wouldn't doubt with all the rain that we've had that they got snow up there. My hands are frozen. Oh, your hands are too cold to film. <laughs> the wind was just disrupt disrupting my focus. Ah. So, by now, my hands, fingers are just about to fall off. So, I guess I gotta reheat them. 
warm up the digits. That reminds me, oh, Anna's filming off to the left in a second. She's trying to warm up her hands, but we, that's what our members only live was last night to do a sneak peek on the premiere coming up from the video we shot the other day when we were up here. So we should have the premiere launching hmm, maybe tomorrow in the morning, Hawaii time. Hope you all join us. I'll put it out there when we get home this morning. Compared to Minnesota, this is a, a summer afternoon. If you're just coming in, we are live up at Kilauea. Please hit that thumbs up. Another Canadian friend of ours, Kevin's in the house. Tuba Chad, what's happening? Good morning, Debbie. Kent, aloha, mahalo for being there. I used to live in Hawaii 15 years ago. I miss the Aina so much. It's awesome. Pele is making a show with Mary Monarch happening. Yeah, we finally got Mary Monarch back too. After I think two years because of uh, the uh, the big C. What does it smell? We don't smell anything up here because uh, the wind's blowing. The other direction. If we go to the other side, where these steam vents are at, the sulfur pits are over there, then you start catching some whiffs of the, of the bog. Oh yeah, we, we see all the Midwestern Midwesterners up here. They're always in flip-flops and shorts. We got jeans and wool socks and winter jackets on. One thing I'm missing is a beanie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Freezing. Yeah, <laughs> us too. It's nice already, but it's yeah. freezing. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Don. Mad. Aloha. Our Mad says going to Hawaii tomorrow. Right on. Big Island, which island? Down, copy down. That's what I need to do. Keep the caffeine rolling, maybe that'll help. Yeah, big island to see Kilauea. Oh, right on. Maybe we'll see you up here.
as long as the, the rain stays off of us. Oh yeah, all yesterday was pouring. Oh man, we weren't sure if we were coming up, it was so wet. Yeah, I checked out this weather stuff and it showed like about now. Well, it had a, right at midnight it started like tuning up and it was showing about 2 o'clock. I thought it was 6 o'clock was going to be good. That's our window of opportunity. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I went to take a nap. Wow, I don't hear raindrops anymore. Shit, yeah, it came outside. Oh, it's clear pretty much. <laughs> yeah, make a run for yeah. it. Try it. Yeah, all the way up to, all the way to Hamakua, all the way down to Kau was all rain. Oh, wow. wow. I was scared to even look at the uh, the radar. <laughs> Good morning, Marie. I didn't see you come in. Yeah, fair witness. Um, imagine our uh, the complexity. We we go from sandals and shorts, and then we get up here where we have to pull out jackets we usually use for summits. Um. <laughs> right. <laughs> tripod. Yeah. Another gush is coming. To ask him the view we see on here is that your exact view if not how far are you from the rim of the crater well from the rim that goes over the edge we're probably you know a quarter mile or so we're a mile back from the the view you're seeing i'm gonna pan out give you a little bit bigger shot here we just hold off until the sun comes up a bit and then you can start seeing the caldera as you see everything's still pitch black outside. Sorry, I'm a little wobbly. My hands are cold. You want some warmer? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Laura says, uh, I discovered that nylon gloves work on phones that are decent windbreak it might be worth a try plus to keep hand warmers in place now there you go Did you hear that mm -hmm. 
I actually think you have a pair of nylon gloves. Stan asks, I know you're not geologists. Nope, we are not geologists or volcanologists. But do you ever find obsidian near the volcano? We haven't, but I um, imagine it's out there. You saw the pelleteers there and stuff. Yeah. They just don't have it in a big chunk like how they mm -hmm. find it. It's all little tiny pebbles. That's what the fissure now is facing south. Like. Yeah, it kind of blew open and turned a little bit. Yeah, I remember before from here you could see it. There. Mm hmm That was when it first started going. See, I knew it. I'd dock over there with that light with this pumper truck. For the for the last hour we've been watching somebody with a flashlight or a headlamp over to the bottom left of us, creeping around. So you drove down from Pamakua tonight? No, I got up this morning and I was gonna go hike at um, Narnia. Oh. And it was rainy. I didn't want to be on the news, so I started <laughs> going up Pamakua way. Yeah. Oh, and all the way up that way, and it was storming just as bad as in town. Oh, was it really? Wow. I came back to town, <laughs> came all the way down to Kalu side, and it, was, oh. it wasn't as bad, but it was raining down there too. It's like, wow. Nice. Getting that hike into Narnia has got to be just a mess, too. Oh, I just didn't want to be on the news. <laughs> no. Local boy gets swept away yeah. by <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, the past two times I tried to get in there, but the past two times the storm came in where the day I was going to go in, it just started pouring. Oh, out. man. The last couple of times we drove up to, to go in, there's just so many cars parked outside on the road. We were just like, nah, yeah. we'll try next week. Was that during the weekend or? Oh, uh, we've tried both weekdays and weekends. I mean, we live down in the acre, so it's not like it's a big deal. Yeah. yeah I try to fly in whenever I can. Now it's a lot better. Just so happened, caught a fish. I was at my friend's house barbecuing. Sweet. Then my other friend comes up and he's like, Corey, you travel all the time. I'm like, yeah, but you got my expenses flying into your island and all <laughs> yeah. over the place. I can't, I can't afford it. And he's like, does that work for Hawaiian Airlines? I'm like, yeah, but I like asked you. He's like, bro, I give back my buddy passes every year. I, oh, wow. I only used two buddy passes last year. The year before that, I didn't use any at all. Like. Why? I can have them. He was like, all right, just let me know. Whenever you want to go, just I'm like, well, I'll be out there a lot more now. Heck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You coming over from Oahu? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot more peaceful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big difference from the big city, huh? Oh, yeah. I don't even like it there, but had more jobs over here than probably be over here. Mm -hmm. Hey Doc, I did see it was snowing at your place this morning. Who did I miss? Oh. Oh, good morning, Subi. Marie, you guys are way up before even the roosters. Yeah, even at one o'clock, but they were, the roosters were up. The neighborhood was just full throttle this morning.
Yeah, Volcano Verse brings up a good point. There's a, a shot we always talk about with the Empire State Building sitting in the caldera. And when USGS put the Empire State Building in there, I think it was December. At that time, it was up to the 70th floor. But we've had a, at least a 100-foot rise, I think, since then. Maybe. So it's uh, filled up quite a bit since December. When we don't have the wind, we can actually hear the gas hissing. We can hear the explosions down there. There's a lot more, uh, a lot more sounds when the wind isn't pumping. I don't even really hear any gassing going on. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Right now it's 4 a.m. Uh, totally different than La Palma. Uh, this is in, contained within a caldera that's in the caldera that's in a caldera. Whereas La Palma was just free flowing, headed through everything it could touch and to the ocean. All right, Laura, we'll see you later. Yep, everything's still within the caldera. Motion. Good morning. Nice to see you. I gotta stretch my legs a minute. It's no joke to put roads back in after the lavas went through. We experienced that when uh, 2018, when Leilani and Kopoho got covered, and we needed that road back in that went down, which we used to call Four Corners, that made a right, went through Kopoho and around Kalapana, 
Poliki. And uh, it was quite a quite a show. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine, he was on one of the D9s that helped clear that road. And I think the Discovery Channel actually did a program on it. some concrete slippers for these tripods. You're welcome Lane. Thanks for joining us. Everybody over at Volcano Verse. Big mahalo for joining us. We are live up at Kilauea. My teeth are starting to chatter. It can't be that cold. It's the wind. Yeah, it's the wind, huh? Hermione, aloha. Thought I saw you come in. Oh, 100 kilometers an hour. That's some serious wind. Ken, aloha. Thanks for coming in. <clears throat> Marie is asking, is there any danger from toxic gases or ash? Not for us, north, uh, north east wind blowing, pushing the fog out to the south and around Kona. Um, so not so much for us. Is the fog making it all the way to Oahu? No. No. Not enough. So it sounds like the islands up the chain aren't even getting it. Oh, yeah, with the trade winds in, yeah. it won't hit a lot. If we get the Kona winds come up, mm -hmm. then you'll see all the sunrises start turning that purple. Yeah. yeah. And you'll see the little layer kind of come in. What's the temperature? Temperature's probably 54, 55 right now. We were gone when the Kona winds hit in December. Just shellacked our house here. Oh man, I can imagine. The beer must get bad. Huh? Yeah. Greenhouse was tore to shreds. Canopies were just wrapped around the trees. <laughs> it was like, it was crazy. Good morning, Eddie. And as for ash, this isn't a, an ashy volcano. We're a boggy, a boggy one. What will need to happen for activity to happen outside, outside of the, 
I guess the caldera is what you're saying. Uh, years of flow. Mm, could be five, seven is more realistic. It all depends on if we pause out again. And we, we paused in April or so and then resumed September 29th. So you have six, seven months of no activity at all. And then December and January were interesting with three days on, three days off. Yeah, the bigger act event from some days ago, that one on the top left. Yeah, that's what we were watching the other day when we were live. Was that left side was just going crazy. Tonight, not so much. Actually, this morning, 4, 10 a.m. So the rift zones are quiet. Yep, rift zones are quiet. Everything's kind of quiet right now. Even the, I didn't look at the 24-hour earthquake numbers, but I would imagine they're probably in the middle teens for the last 24 hours. Hasn't been a lot happening. Stones Worth, Aloha, Happy Easter. see that. Yeah, quakes are always going to be, not always, but predominantly Bahala. That is our uh, hot spot. The average for Bahala is 25 a day, 25 in a 24 hour period. All of them average between 2, 2.5 and a Always sitting about 30 kilometers deep. Good morning, dude. Top of the morning to you. Steven, thank you. Two pineapples, you're welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you guys are just coming in, hit that like button. If you're over at Volcanoverse watching, thank you very much. Waters. Good morning. There we go. Did you just get that? That west vent? No. Oh, you missed it. It just. A bit of a yeah, she's just starting to fountain. Which one is that? Right there. Yeah. There it goes again. It's coming. Yep. Ooh, we might have a little pickup in activity, huh? <laughs> I wish I had lenses that could grab that far. Yeah. That phone grabs farther. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, I got that new Ultra 
That's 22, so it blows oh, up yeah. to like That's what she has, too. Oh, that thing is amazing. Yeah. Some of the moon shots that I took. Mine's 21. Just right up there, huh? I mean, it, it's crazy. It's comparable to any other camera. Yeah. It's so amazing. Well, that's why they're 1500 bucks. Thank goodness I had the old phone to turn in. Ooh, sweet. Yeah, so they took off $800. Oh. So that helped out a lot. Big time. If not, I would never have bought this phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Big Feet, good day. How far from the vent are you roughly? Easter Bunny having one full on lure out there. Yeah. Uh, we're about a mile back right now. Yeah, hold it. It might just. To be the only thing I can get. Mm -hmm. It might pick up again. The hot spot's not moving there. There's crust is. Moving to the northwest, taking the, all the oil. Yep. Islands are moving. Is this happening in a town? No, Mason, the closest is Volcano Village. Ten minutes, five minutes outside the park. Nope, everything is inside Hawaii National, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, inside the crater. Sun is up in two hours. We'll start to see a little something another hour. Yeah, I thought we'd have had more people over here. Yeah, I will. They'll be here there in an hour. Ten, there are like ten cars this time. Parking lot. Yeah, it's interesting where they might be. Yeah. Oh, and I ran into. Yeah, we were surprised to see that many sitting in the parking lot and nobody out here. <laughs> They're camping up. They got to be pitched a tent somewhere. She wants to fountain so bad. I know. I can just see it. Oh yeah, Mason, it'll overflow, but it won't be for years at this rate. Great rain, and rain, wind. Mm -hmm. Just calm down for a minute. Yeah. You're welcome, Kent. We're happy to be up here. Mm -hmm. Sherry's asking, is there a smell or sulfur? smell of sulfur or anything in the air? Nope. Because the trade winds coming in from the northeast pushing all that to the southwest. If we drive to the other side of the caldera that's where you'll smell everything. The steam vents are over there, the sulfur pits are there.
Universe, 100% correct. This is a no drone zone. The entire park is actually a no fly zone. And believe it or not, most of the island is a no fly zone. And there's a lot of places uh, you just can't get up. Yeah, dude, we're watching that north, that uh, northwest vent too. My body's stiffening up. No, thank you. Your hot pockets. Hot pockets. Creature Williams. I thought when this erupted, the start of the lava was going to erupt out the bottom of the crater where everything had collapsed into. Nope. You would think so, right? And there was a hole there. Good morning, Pearl. Mason, uh, it will overflow, but it won't happen for years and years. It has a lot, a long ways to go. I think we're only at 10% of where we were in 2018. Happy Sunday. That 
first drop down area you can see that is where the overflows already kind of went into it but there's still hundreds of feet to go over there the daytime b1 cam is a good example uh, a good view and uh well hold on for the wind here for a second Ooh. all right uh, the B1 cam. That was a <laughs> yeah. big blast of wind. <laughs> the B1 cam is the best cam, I think, that shows the overflow area. They're just getting shellacked. Grab the tripod. I think it's. I think the tripod is building ice. Blowers. Yeah. Yep. I just picked up on it too. I'm going over there now. There is a flow coming on the back side of that up on top. That's different. Yeah, dude. Phil and Dane with the Hawaii pod. Those guys rock. Oh, yeah. Wind picked up big time. There's a good chance that the cones would would grow. Ooh, my ears. <laughs> Ooh, those are nice. Oh yeah. Help you out for a minute. I'll loan them to you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that does help. Wow. Yeah. Well, we got some parkas on. This is my summit jacket. I'm good up to 15,000 feet and negative 35. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Aurelio, we are pounding coffee, trying to stay warm. We're hoping spring is coming soon. As soon as this, Not at uh, our house. as soon as the uh, the rains pull back, maybe should just about be uh, getting through the rainy season. Yes. 
There we go. There's some fountaining going on now. <clears throat> the resuming of the uh, the start of this eruption was September 29, 2021. We are frozen. <laughs> Here it comes again. Get your eyes on that cone in the back. Which one? Uh, West Vent. Um, I was on there, but right now I'm on this other fountain part. Oh, I see it. Yeah, and I see where you're on. at. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Yeah. I saw that pick up. It's true. Wear a warm hat, warm boots. Yeah, we got them on, but. When you live in 75 and 80 degrees every day, 50 is pretty cold. Yeah. Ah, dude, we're happy to do it. We know not everybody gets a chance to see this, so we're happy to get up here and put it out there. There you go. There's another blast out of that fountain. I'm getting this little baby fountain that it's all the way to the left. It's just a tiny little. Over here in the bottom left corner. Huh? Down in here? No, right here. Oh, up there. You, from from right here, this view, you can't see it, oh, but yeah. I'm zoomed in all the way. There's a little baby a little fountain going on. <laughs> Let's see. There you go, on the left there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm hmm. Hey, good morning, Piggy. I didn't see you come in. Deep Click 9, Aloha, CB says, that may be slipped over to Iceland. What well, feels like Iceland? Didn't I have a number on the thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Deep Quake 9, you're welcome. We're happy that uh, Volcano Verse has given us the opportunity to share with them.
fingers aren't working as great as they should since it's so cold. Oh, hang in there. There we go. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to do a tripod adjustment. Hey, dude, dropped us a $4.99 super chat. Right on. Thank you much. Appreciate that, dude. You guys again? Hey. <laughs> What's happening? How long have you been here? Since uh, 2 30. You guys are diehards. What's going on? Nothing. How, How you been? been? <laughs> I stopped. I miss a tea. How Hawaii tours just rolled on in. Back up here, two in a row. <laughs> so, anything exciting happen? Pretty quiet so far. A little bit of fountain going on off the west vent there. A little bit of pond activity. That mm. cone behind the lake. Mm -hmm. I heard the ranger yesterday say that was like 200 feet high. I was curious on. Yeah. You know how big she was. I was using the uh, bigger than a dump truck. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's windy. At least it's not wet. Did you get any rain on you last night? Um, or when you were up here yesterday morning? Just a little bit of sort of yeah. but got soaked up here. I think I need to still take a nap. <laughs> Scott, go for it. Come on, get rolling. Get the so camera that, out. That thing to the to the back of the lake, to the right. Yeah. Has that been spitting a lot? You mean like right here, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has its moments of of glory. 50-50, if you like that. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Nothing really too much up front like what you were getting yesterday. Oh, yeah. And Isn't just, that so weird? It really is. is. Yeah. 24 hours big difference. And then um, yesterday to the right, it was fountaining and one mm -hmm. of those dots. Oh, yeah, the, the, oh, like, that like, vent over yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So, Mauna Kea got covered last night. Oh, did it? Yeah. If everybody was asking. I think Mauna Loa has some too. This is about as cold as we want to get. <laughs> hey, to the to the left there, uh -huh. it's lighting up uh, around the, over the edge, it seems like. Um, we can't see the lava, but just the... Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. It was a lot brighter about a half hour ago or so. Really? Yeah. go to the other side and take a peek over. I haven't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. We'll take a picture. Go for it. Oh, my eyes are great. Your house getting soaked. Uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it's too. Oh, look at it. Uh -huh. right right sure. Yeah, I did that too about an hour ago. Nothing really coming out of her. Yeah, about how many years have you been here? Um, just about six now. This is, I mean, like I mentioned while we were talking the other day, the driest rainy season <laughs> yeah. until the last week. Yeah, pretty much. Rainy season. Because when we got back in January, it was completely dry. And we had no rain January, February, I mean, most of March except for the last couple of weeks. 
So we're gonna see in our place a little more rain than you because we're up the hill. Right. But and I like in the past. Good for catching. Yeah. <laughs> only two of us. It's not like we use that much right. water. Uh, did I remember correct? You felt the 4.6. Yeah, two nights ago that 4.6 that happened at 2 a.m. You felt it? Yeah, it pulled me right out of sleep. I mean, wow. a deep sleep. Wow. I was surprised. I didn't feel a thing. I don't even remember where I was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we're so privileged to live here. Every 12, 15 minutes, that West Sentinel fountain. Really? It's about what I've been wow. putting together. So cool. Let's watch here it comes. <laughs> it's getting brighter. Uh huh. It wants to so bad. Is that your walk? Yeah. Stretch out the legs. Yeah. Feet giving me a little cold. Well, we've been standing here for an hour and a half. It's just my toes. Steve Quake, appreciate it. Everybody over Volcano Verse, thank you so much. No, that's a weird feeling when you get woke up out of your sleep from the house shaking. We're hundreds of feet still from the from where we're at for that lake to rise. Going for it, Scott? Maybe. Come on. We'll see. This is You're here. I know, and it's really crazy, but I forgot my wind sock. I'm gonna have to take off my sock sock. Oh, yeah, I wanna see that. <laughs> <laughs> I, seriously, I have to take off my regular sock and put Let's it, put it on there. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. Can you feel the heat? No, nope, we can't feel the heat. Believe me, we would we would like to.
Mm-hmm. I'll call her all day to that. What was it? Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. No, I'm, I'm fine. Well, Scott here, six foot standing next to me. I get a nice windbreak. <laughs> Is it April 17th today? April 17th. I think. Yes. Hey, a volcano burst jumped in here. You are going to do it, aren't you? Susan Dean says hi. Good morning, Susan. in my wind. I crashed my party. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Quake says last time I watched this I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. It was a nice morning nap. Heck yeah. I almost fell asleep driving out there. Did you? I did. <laughs> On the bottom, there we go. Oh, Front starting to open go. up. Yeah, all four ground. Oh, well, <clears throat> yeah, Richard, that was a cool one, huh? Yeah, Aaron, the uh, the Hui Seamount is one of them. I don't think we'd get a Tonga type event, but it's down there. It should break the surface in about 10,000 years. Yeah, that's super cool.
the vent count down there. Mm, four, five. Scott, you have a vent count? Uh, I would say that's about right. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of smaller ones. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're, the right area. they're all over the place. The other night, it felt like the stuff that was like going around the back of the car, but that yeah. spot's still really good. Yeah. It is like a fireplace, isn't it? A hot one. Yeah, the first part of the trek getting up here, kids, isn't too bad. It's the, the, the last section through the uh, by the cut in the cornfield of rock. There's one that's behind the ridge there that's going to the East Kinsett and Sierra Little Square. Yeah. Let's see, like, you see how it's like a big thing around it? Yeah, oh yeah. That's why I see it. That's the H. It's like, yeah. welcome back. Nice chat with you. Look at that on the corner. It's really getting bright now. Oh yeah. position that they're all in my view. Right up here, huh? Wait, that's Temperature is usually 
1200 Celsius, 2000 Fahrenheit. CH, what do we mean who's responsible for two pineapples? <laughs> I don't know. I think we're responsible for ourselves. All done? <laughs> I just need to move a little bit. That was really flowing pretty good this morning. On that back side right over here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oops, someone's being naughty over there. Well, they've been there all, since we got here. Really? After two. The big lava flow up here, the last one. Oh, look down there, look down there, that one is lit up all the That's the first casting we've heard all morning. Really? Yeah. fully open now yet? The park is fully open. Except for the museum. I don't think we'll ever see the museum open again. Just a quick one. Scott, what's the information on the park charging admittance? 
be on 24 hours. Did you hear anything about that? No. They're going to start charging, like they closed down the gate at 6 o'clock. Yeah, they were supposed to start charging 24 hours. So they were going to man the gate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they should. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, how much money are they oh. The bulk of it. Oh, yeah. Right? So, no, I haven't heard of it. Jet Life. Aloha, brother. like to use the geothermal plant is the reason that the 2018 uh, eruption happened down Leilani Kapoho. And surprisingly, it's still standing. It didn't get covered in lava. <clears throat> now the museum is closed because of the eruption that we had a few years ago. Shook it up pretty good too dangerous. I don't think there's anything even in there anymore. Is it empty, Scott? What? Is the museum empty? Uh, yeah, they yeah, pulled everything out, didn't they? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Mrs. L, Aloha. <laughs> I saw that, yeah. <laughs> Quick one second. <clears throat> Doc, you still sitting over there with that pumper truck? I still see a light moving around. <laughs> Just a few of the crater for you. This is the... Uh, Caldera Flora. As we get a little more light, the sun is just trying to, it comes out fountain on that west coast. The sun is not here yet. But once we get a little bit more uh, light on the caldera, we'll pan out. Slow pan out. Can to give you guys an idea how far out we really are. Way out here. Look at that one.
could be uh, 50 yards by maybe 75. And remember, we're standing a mile back, so the size is really kind of difficult. <laughs> is Easter a big thing in Hawaii? Absolutely it is. Beautiful. Uh, easy view up there. <laughs> <these lights. laughs> we were talking this morning on the walk in, like, oh, maybe a few months. We'll be able to start seeing a little bit more frequently up there. Oh, uh, yeah. Temperature right now is probably 55, maybe 57. Uh, the hog is pretty high, looks like. It doesn't affect us with the northeast trade wind coming in, blowing it southwest. It doesn't affect us. There's definitely another breakout. I think they're just frozen, so I don't even feel them anymore. <laughs> Nathan, what's happening, buddy? Ooh. Huh? Yeah. right now. Thank you. 
seven, eight months ago. Some new instruments were put up around there. Yeah, we do go down to South Point quite a bit, jump off that cliff. All depends on how many uh, tourists in the water. There's no bait in the water, I'm not jumping in. It's a nice little spot for tiger sharks. <laughs> like, you don't hear coyotes, you hear kids. Kids are howling. <laughs> oh, good morning, Jen. Jen's only a few days away, I think, from coming over. I think she's coming in after Easter. After Easter? I think, if I can remember right, my memory's not so great. Oh my god. I told her I sent everybody your way. Hopefully. <laughs> that's, it, that's enough. Oh, you come all the way to you you yesterday we watched your video, you're up for forty minutes. I know. I did it what twenty? I made it twenty. <laughs> oh well, we love Punaloo. We hang out down there quite a bit. Matter of fact, one of our live streams we just did a couple weeks back was down there. Just one turtle on the beach. Time to tour. Hmm? Time to tour. Uh, nine o'clock. Oh, that's not bad. Let's get a little nap. Yeah. Tourism just fell off the face of the earth during the big sea, and once we opened back up, um, I think the numbers are right around like 30,000 visitors a day come in. Most of them hit Oahu and Maui. Dieharders hit Big Island. Scott. Is Hawaii still doing safe travel app entry? No, I think well, we, we stopped it, yeah. Right. Guys, if you're just uh, coming in, remember, hit that thumbs up. I don't know where we at. Somebody give me a number. Gotta hit that hundred today. Absolutely, anything can happen at any time. Monolo is an interesting one. We watch it, and uh, I think in the latter part of the spring, when it, spring when it warms up, we're gonna do that three-day hike up over the top of it. Yeah, weather weather warms up. <laughs> A little birdie to the left of me just says, when the weather warms up. Oh no, it won't be as cold as Pisco, Peru. Because we're at 15,000. Well, we're almost at 15 up there, but a lot different. I can do it. Every island. 
one's unique. Little turnip over there. You see that? Oh yeah. I think I was a lot more laid back. We don't get the hustle that Oahu and Maui get. Maui's got some great beaches. Amazing water for the whales and fishing and surfing. Ponte Coast is exactly like living in Puna here, wet. We just like the country style living. It's quiet. comes the herd. The bus came in. How many times Magus are you looking at? Um probably hundred maybe. Yeah. Pretty tight in there. Yeah. Yeah. Are you streaming this? Yeah, we're live streaming. Let's see. What's your two pineapples? Two pineapples? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could get in a lot closer, but there's so much going on, yeah. The ride kind of keeps everything. West Bend up there. This is going off now, right here. Yes. What's the most you've seen it jump Oh, we've seen 50, 70 feet. Oh, oh yeah, when it was totally full years ago. Yeah, we're only about 10% right now. It's quite a sight when the whole bowl, just a few months ago, the whole bowl was lit up at night, which is pretty cool. You don't get to see this stuff out there. No, you don't. Thanks, <laughs> buddy. You're welcome. Thank you. Nope. That's God's case. Okay, no more. Okay, no more. Okay, no more. Okay, no more. Okay, Sunrise. Yeah, bro, they don't like that geothermal plant we got here. I'm going to go to the 
And then Jeff Fisher 8 is pretty amazing. He shot a video down there. The guy that was standing right next to us was Scott from Apal Hawaii Tours. He owns a lot down there next to Fisher 8. His home is also down there. And then he owns a lot right next to Fisher 8. And uh, we, did some, we did a pretty cool video. Uh, if you scroll through somewhere in our playlist, you'll see the Fisher 8 video we've got up on top. And we've got some cool shots. It's amazing down there. Oh, Mr. Big P, thanks for the, uh, hitting that big red button. If you guys are here, you're new, hit that thumbs up, consider subscribing. We're uh, two pineapples, Lou and Anna. And uh, we try to get up here a couple times a week, all weather permit. Good morning, Tom. So, is that like a red camera? Excuse me? That's like a what camera? It's a Note 20. Is it like a pro mode? Yeah. That's great. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is like a pro mode. No pro mode. Is that pro video? Yeah, pro video. Oh yeah. Insurance? Absolutely. The volcano insurance, zone one and two. Uh, it's a little tougher, it's going to be a lot more expensive, but yeah. Cool, Mr. Big Feet. Thanks for coming over from Volcano Verse. We are happy to share this with you and all Volcano Verse. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, there's no tripod, so I'm not letting it settle. <laughs> and you're not on a tripod, so you're That's right. way going through mm -hmm. Hey, you doing good. How you doing? I think Anna put my email address in wrong because it bounced back. Did you get an email? Yeah, no, it didn't I think come that he, I think he, I uh, typed down the wrong yeah, name. Yeah. Um, it went bounced back. You have my phone, honey. Oh, I do. No, no. Yeah, so you can check. It said no existing something. Well, Jeff, right now we're up on 4,000 feet looking down in the Kilway Caldera. Our home is about 20 minutes from here. So did you move kind of the in a to the bottom lake? safe zone. Yeah, I'm down there. Okay. How'd your ginger pick and go? Um, it was really, it was really fun. Yeah. The first time I did it, we went down to the station trail, mm -hmm. and uh, basically we're just kind of looking down, and we're gonna try to get it back. I thought we were gonna do chop it off, but it's just coming off the top. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot and of fun. Spray. Yeah, very really spray. Yeah. Yeah. 
great to help out. I feel like I'm going to help out. Yeah, we try not to even spray it in our house. We torch everything if we need to. Yeah, I'm going to get those torches. I need to get that yeah, to that bag of grasses. Yeah. Okay. See if I spelled his name. Right. It bounced back. Oh, it's dot com. It's dot dot net. Yeah, that's okay. Dot net. Dot net. Dot net. Oh, okay. Got the last box of uh, filled up with the Mac Knight and planted it away, so we're in the big bottle now. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's a big relief. Yeah, we'll do it later. But it's a huge relief because you know, that's our grocery store, pretty much. Oh, okay. I mean, not for business, but that's a weed out of it. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have my claim to fame is going to be to have Puna's smallest food force <laughs> in my garden. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> CH asking, two pineapples, are you living off grid? No, we don't live off grid. Um, part of it, part of our home is our water system. So a couple of the lights all run off a 12 volt battery solar. And that's because it's, you know, power goes out. I have to fire up the generator. It could only be for a few hours, so it's easy just to keep that on a, a 12 volt system. Are you in the park or tourist area or the backyard with tons of coyotes? <laughs> We're in the park. That greenhouse took us shoot, about two weeks of straight work to do. That's a big greenhouse. Yeah, it's 30 by 25. I wish I could have come down and helped you. Oh, yeah, we would love some hands. Because I'm, uh, you know, trying to do, trying to fill in the gap. I've been mm -hmm. working my whole life and I just retired six months ago. I go, go so go I'm working, working on nothing. I, I want more things to do and I come here. Well, that's good to help enough. people. Yeah. Yeah, our next addition. So we got uh, the main greenhouse and then off to the left of it. We put 15 foot wide and all the way down all our pineapples. So we have 100 pineapples in there. Mm -hmm. And the other side now, I start to process. I got a thousand gallon fish tank. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build over a new section just for straight aquaponics on that side. Oh, okay. For the aquaponics, dirt, and then the pineapples. Yeah, be huge. <laughs> yeah, Should be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is basically going to be like a miniature version of the botanical gardens in the email. That's what my yard hey, is. That's all right. It's heading towards. That's nice. A lot of beautiful blues up this morning. Yeah, this is, see, this has been going pretty steady all morning. Right there. And, yeah. Fountain every 15 minutes or so out of the. West End. Mm, it's kind of weird activity. It kind of goes up and down. Toe in the flow. Or the flow in the toe. <laughs> I can put my glasses on. Doc, we're going to have to make a song about that. The flow in the toe. <laughs> yeah, it's cool that Phil and Pete's here. Everybody talks to yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Those guys are great. Hawaii Pod Rocks. We're on right now with uh, Volcano Verse. There's another a huge volcano channel. So we're on with them this morning. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah I've never seen that. It's fun watching it. Like, the explosion. It's got a bit wet yesterday, I would think. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like the 
big lava tube reopened. Nope, that I'm aware of, no. Nope. We're gonna farm, farm raise wahoos. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, our mac nut mix is a combination of mac nut shells, small black cinder, and uh, uh, dirt. And then we also amend everything with guana and bat. Um, bat guana, sea, seagull, you name it, kelp. Let's see right there. Now we're starting to get a little bit of sun. Let's do a little pan out and see if we can see Mauna Loa. I don't know who's got the best camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably me. Yeah. 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 What is it? An Apple or something? Yeah, for a job. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go. Just starting to see him on a low. If you guys are new to Two Pineapples Channel, we just did, uh, we just put up our uh, greenhouse rebuild here in South America for four months and everything got pummeled during the Kona, uh, Kona windstorm in December. So if you're into gardening and uh, greenhouses, check out that bid because it's pretty cool. And uh, Mrs. P is constantly shooting video out there and we're posting a lot of what's going on in the greenhouse. We have bat boxes now. No, at least spelunkers. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we're not that adventurous. Oh, we got some clouds, but uh, it's a lot clearer than it was before. Thank you, our camera and our gear is uh, a blessing to us, provided by uh, all of our members, all our super chatters, everybody pitched in and we were able to upgrade our gear and get some great views of this eruption. And now the wind is ridiculous still though. <laughs> So you were telling that only like a few months back it was a bigger one. Really oh yeah. The equivalence of toe would, would be a foot finger. As you got up so early. No, we love love it when we just go in the greenhouse two hours, three hours every day doing work. It's relaxing. The biggest thing with that greenhouse of anybody, you got to get that floor, get that floor right before you build it. Yeah, that's what our main water system is, rain catchment. Yeah, we uh, we don't have a big tank. We only have a 3,000 gallon tank on the house because there's just two of us. Kids are all gone, and it rains pretty much every day, so we don't really run into any problems. 
once in a while she'll get down to about a quarter full, which is a good opportunity for us to go in there and just kind of clean it up, get out any leaves or geckos or whatever else made its way in there. Well, we got an amazing growing season. It's just all year, pretty much. And in our house, it stays pretty much 75 high, maybe 78 on the hottest August day. And then uh, our low is 65. How are you doing? Thank you everybody for joining us. We're still up here at Kilauea Live. 5.40 a.m. Sun is coming up. Mauna Loa is in the background. If you're new to the channel, we have two pineapples. Please hit that thumbs up. And we are hanging with Volcano Burst this morning. Appreciate all of them coming in, saying hi, and uh, putting the stream out for everybody. Well, we don't need a permit to green it, build a greenhouse here. Nope. One of the pineapples, Ohana, John Dan, he's a big greenhouse grow, grower. He uh, posted a comment yesterday I saw. It was interesting. It said, uh, what did it say, grow food? Not, fl not flowers? No, it wasn't it. I got it all wrong now. I have to look later. Let's see. Grow food, not garden. <laughs> that's what he put up there. And that's us. Uh, we nickname our greenhouse our grocery store. It's not commercial, but that's, uh, that's our grocery store. We fish a lot. This uh, we've been. We just got back from South America, and we had a lot of work to do. Get the property back in order. Spring is here, and uh, we'll be back out. Uh, we have an abundance of ahi, uh, ono, mahi mahi, uh, big game fish, marlin, are everywhere here. But we don't even mind casting off the side of the cliff and. Oh, there you go. It's catching lunch. That's beyond my control.
I'm back. Had to take a little walk. Stretch out the legs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The light change is really cool. Mm -hmm. I hope I don't bump the track out of here. I'm trying to just move this out of the way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take pictures of you taking selfies of yourself. I'm going to blackmail you. That's fine. Hey, there's so many pictures out there in this time. Okay, hey, Kellen, get in. He's really good information. All righty. All right, Kellen, go this way a little more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you were talking out loud? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that what normal people do? You mean you were thinking Thoughts. out loud? Yeah, thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I do all the time. No. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, I had an aunt that always told me, if you answer yourself, then, then that's, that's you the recovery. problem, right? <laughs> Don't you need recovery? <laughs> See if uh, well, with all that rain, it's gonna be let's do a quick cameo. Let's see if we got enough light to stand back just a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna have to flip the camera out here. Hold on one second. There we go. Hey, that's a little off. How we like in the volcano? It's busy up here. Lola. Give it a ducker. Um, some of the camera shaking is from uh, children running around. Uh, 
wind. The wind. And this is P leaning on it. Our um, weather walk brought this in my chair. I can't even speak. Well, your lips are frozen. Part of it is because I feel like I'm cluttered. Frozen cheeks. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Get all uh, nervous and uh, jittery. Uh oh, we got the we got the question from uh, Aaron Rodriguez. Have you guys ever seen UFO or light ships go into the volcanoes before? Hmm. No, not necessarily no, just lava. to the volcano. However, just lava swimming around. I do have an interesting story, and uh, then maybe the next live stream, hanging with Mr. P, I will tell you about my UFO experience here down in South Point. Don and uh, the crew. Our normal crew has been waiting for your mm -hmm. story. Everybody's been waiting for that Laura, one. too. Well, I've been scared to tell it because uh -huh. I don't know if I disappear the next day or not. Uh, you don't know who's listening, oh, sure. waiting for me to give that information out. Did I move you? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. As long as it doesn't fall over. <laughs> I know, dude, this is a great time in the morning with all the blues. I was looking for that little grommet running around. <laughs> Absolutely, if you, if you hit that big red button of ours and hit the notification bell, you'll know. We're also on Discord. We try to put up our announcements of what we're doing there. But uh, yeah, last night the stream, I streamed for about an hour. Premiered, not premiered, sneak peek of the uh, premiere of our video coming up. That'll probably premiere tomorrow afternoon, or I mean tomorrow morning, Hawaii time. And uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the herd is uh, four, four deep and forty wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we passed by 
things we do is I'll tug on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gives them the idea. Give it a tug back. <laughs> Frozen for the thing with pineapple florist. That's a great way to put it. That's funny. Yeah. Let's stay this way on this side of the rope. Yeah. You should hey, buddy. You should probably stay hey, on this side. Stay on this side. Yeah. Don't walk out there, please. <laughs> It'll be your last safe. trip. That's why they put this rope here. At the park. Yeah, she's just rolling her eyes. Yeah, <laughs> keep rolling your eyes. Just trying to watch out for your little one. Yeah. One step. Yeah. Oh, I see the snow. Isn't that, am I seeing snow? Mm, no, we don't smell any lava. If we go to the other side, it's where the sulfur pits are. We'll start smelling all the sulfur, but we got a northwest or northeast trade wind on our back. Pushes this up to the southwest. Jan, you're welcome. Aloha. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. We appreciate it. We're not going anywhere. We've uh, been streaming for two and a half hours now. We're going to keep going a little bit. We might get to see a little kid roll down the cliff. Yeah, one little slip. I'm not listening. <laughs> it's okay. The mom's right there. She knows what's best. <laughs> Yeah, we're at the silver pits. It reeks pretty, pretty rotten. Hmm? Hey, Volcano Burst became a member. Right on. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. It keeps us going. Yeah, over at Fisher 8, you can uh, get up along the top there, you can smell pretty good. Okay, how about we move, uh, actually no, we can't, because yeah. this thing's going to be yeah. Yes, she is. And it was her kid we just told to get back over on this side of the road. Two more steps and the kid was going to tumble down. Yeah, but they're not listening. It's they're okay. Not listening. That's not our problem. We, we offered our uh, yeah. suggestions to stay behind yeah. the road. Yes. I don't think they understand. Mm -hmm. I thought we did our best.
And we just uh, had our friend uh, from Germany go back this weekend. Oh, is, is that? Oh, yeah, look at that. I've got my glasses on. This is not there, is it? Yeah, I see that. Where are my glasses? No, they're in my inner pocket. Oh, it's too hard. Oh, yeah. With a lot of the the one to the left. Yeah. yeah. No, they don't. Have they just run rampant sometimes out here. It's so dangerous. Especially when it's dark. Because you can't see. Maybe now I can, I'll pan out. You can see better where we're standing. You can see how steep the cliff is right in front of us. And uh, one slip, the, the rocks are kind of. Yeah. Small yeah, One slip, you'll just tumble and lose your balance. I'm pleased with that one today. That's my heritage shot. Wow. Cool. You can see right there. Mm -hmm. There's three steps out, and you're going over. Around. Not on the other side of the road. The other side of the road. Now that there's a younger little girl that's right in front of us too. The last time we went up there, it was snowing. The road was closed past the visitor center, so we just hung out oh, there. Okay. Mm. Imagine a trip to the Grand Canyon in 1965, no railings back then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Grand Canyon's still like that in most places. You know, unless you're right next to the visitor center. Uh, but once you get out on the Grand Canyon, it's, it's wide open. Mr. Big Pete says, thanks, 2P. Have a great day. Been an amazing view, and thank you so much for coming in. Aloha, yeah. Mr. Big Pete. Dutch, aloha. Glad you guys like that zoom out. It's pretty cool to see actually where we're at, you know. Did they see the snow on top of the mountain? No, I'm not panning over there. Right? Well, it's pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they don't want people getting stuck up there because that's a real problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. 
Yeah, I mean, we, we prefer everybody stay behind the ropes because it's a quick, quick trip down, that's for sure. Yeah, oh, definitely. Well, people like that. You know, we like to publish and things like that. A lot of people don't know that. Not where anyone lives. Not where anyone lives. Well, look how much snow we've got on top of Mono Loa. There's a lot of snow up there. Oh, yeah. There's snow. <laughs> Just start seeing the snow up on Mono Loa. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so. So you guys can see the snow on Mauna Loa. <laughs> mm, maybe not enough light yet. Yep, stay on this side. Yeah, we did get snow last night, both Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea. Now that is actually the now I can But if you can imagine all under all this Have you uh, seen them? Yeah. 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 Your, your eyes are very good. Yeah, this is No. Right, you stand here and well, everything. I'm taking a walk and stretch the legs out. We will catch you. <laughs> or I'll catch all of you if you like. <laughs> Edgar Pine, Dr. Fox, Aloha, Mahalo for coming in. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Thanks for sharing the views. Two pineapples. Time for me to make some breakfast. Oh, I was just catching up. <laughs> later, Doc. Catch you later. Okay. You mad? Aloha. Aloha is a lake. Good question. Who the last number is? So as of yesterday, the crater floor seen a total rise of 99 meters or 325 feet. The total with fused lava since the eruption on September 29th is approximately 66 million cubic meters, 18 billion gallons. Last measurement was April 6th. 
yesterday. We had a, as we all talked about earlier, the summit tiltometer show a slight deflationary trend over the past 24 hours. No unusual activity. So you got a pink bow, we got. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, those rings are fire. Oh, back on the right. You see the wind, the gas is down there, just shooting that lava sideways. Typo, Aloha, have a good Easter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Way too cold. Mm -mm. No, it's that deflationary happening. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on her. Hey, buddy, come, buddy. Come here. Starting to warm up pretty good. Mommy, I'm the over for me in the face. You're such a liar. <laughs> no, he put me in the face. Oh, I'm doing it myself.
Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I know. And look at one of those got a bunch of snow. Can't do this without bumping me. Emily, wait. <coughs> Emily. Just enough wind to push all that vlog off of us. shaking us. We got the wind and we're zoomed out at a mile uh, at least. The lens is stretching. Thanks, Free Bird. Best that we can do in the morning with all the light changing. You can see him. Got a little focus if you're hammering back up. All that bog crossing, light changing. Makes for an interesting uh, shot. Do you still want this? Yes, please. Cold, exactly. Need some more sun. Look around. <laughs> I know I gotta. I'm positioning myself one step back. Let's see if we can see the sun. Oh, yeah. Right there. A little bit. A little bit of sun coming. Hopefully, it'll warm up soon. Let 
Don, one, what it was one, two, three. That's right. Nice work. Our Don. Yeah, our Don. What did you say to me the other day? Don said we just built a bridge. He lives under it. He lives under it. He said we built the bridge. He just walked. Right. He he always says that. What, what it? He, he has a way of saying him. I'm gonna pan out and zoom out a little bit. Can I hold that for you? Mm -hmm. I want you guys to see the what's going on on the edge over here. There's this other pond that's been forming. Down in here. There's another vent right there. That's the one on this side. Oh uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, this straight, oh. straight down. Not this one over here, but straight back there. Can you see the glow, right? Yeah. So right in front of that glow. Oh yeah, last week this was, this was the part that was done. Yeah, yeah. So there's that. So pan out a little bit, you can see there's another, in the, the bottom foreground, there's another vent right there. Doesn't look like anything going on with it. Pan around. Still lava visible all the way around. <laughs> I think it moved a little faster. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Watch your tripod. Watch your tripod, he's pulling on that rope. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've seen him go 
go, bro. Oh, oh. I just did. Might have just involuntarily came out. <laughs> Got a kid snapping the, the rope, the tripod set up out in front of the rope to keep it away from everybody. Kids come up here and start pulling on the. Uh, the do not pass rope. Or crawl, or crawl underneath and, and wants the to disappear. Don't seem to care. No. <laughs> this is not a place. To, uh, this is not a playground. Definitely not no. a playground. <laughs> Dangerous. Get some shots of mom. Okay, I'm not going to get my camera out. I don't want to. Okay. Then I'll get all cold again. Just when you're around. Mm -hmm. well, we could probably zoom in up on those telescopes. Let's you get out of here. Change places. Okay. I'm not going to get perfect. Okay. Okay. move guys I'm gonna pan out and we're gonna go see if we can get a quick shot without disturbing anything here of uh, Mauna Kea yeah, it looks really pretty the sun's right on it too hang on everyone seat belt fastened Is out there. We're gonna see if we can get in on it. So those are the telescopes on top of Mauna Kea right now, and the fresh snow we got. <laughs> Isn't that a cool shot? Mm -hmm. Sorry about the wiggling a little bit, but wanted to show you guys uh, the snow that we got last night and the pretty uh, epic shot of Mauna Kea, which is as the crow flies. Aloha, Tom. Tom taking off? Yeah. Take it easy, Tom. Have a good Easter. I think as the crow flies, it's uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, maybe 50 miles straight across from here, give or take. At 10, 20, yeah, somewhere around 50 miles. Pretty sweet, huh? So that's Mauna Kea, that's our telescopes. All right, let's go back to the volcano, see what we're doing. <laughs> see 
see how far back we are. <laughs> Spin us back to the caldera. There it goes. Just took a minute. <laughs> Third time's the charm. It was like a pretty cool side of Mauna Kea. The best we've probably ever seen it. We'll have to go back and uh, take some screenshots of that. Mm -hmm. It'll be available in the gift shop. So we have Mauna Loa straight out in front of us. And we have Mauna Kea to the right and 50 miles away. Maybe. Let the Googler check that later. <laughs> Unless when you nerds out there can do it quick. I'm curious, from where we're standing at the caldera to the uh, visitor center of Mauna Kea. Jimmy says, it looks like you're not much lower than Mauna Kea. Well, we're 4,000 feet right here. Oh, yeah, I just saw that. Let me move over there. Right side to go. That just perked up right there. Just opened right up, didn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> It doesn't seem like they're that much lower, but the visitor center is 9,400 feet. Something got me. Yeah, so the visitor center on Mauna Kea, I think, is 9,000 and some change. We're at 4,000. But I think that the, uh, the snow is, the wind is blowing over here, blowing that snow. What, you don't want to wipe the, no. the sneeze up last week? <laughs> Just a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <coughs> no, it didn't move it. Did it? Mm -hmm. It's alright. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to step back a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Then says Montekia is just shy of 14,000. We'll kill away uh, around 4,000. Yeah, that's what we're standing. Let me hold it. I'm just curious on it. As the crow flies from here to Montekia, what's our distance? That's what I'm curious about. Because I'm telling you, I'm not driving even up to the visitor center. To freeze. Are you? <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> it's too cold for us to go up there. No, no, Volcano versus is 30 miles across, so wasn't too far off. I thought 50. Crazy though, he zoomed right up in there. Marlene, aloha. Hey, Marlene, aloha. Oops. Yeah, pretty amazing. Okay. Oh, what a step. <laughs> Looks like we found a little hot spot now, didn't we? Shoot. 
thinned out quite a bit. About a, about a dozen still kind of lingering. Look at these. Yeah, Eddie, there are quite a few new cones that have come up in the last couple weeks. I'm counting one, two, three, four, maybe four or five that I can see right now. Nothing happening with them, otherwise we'd be zooming in on it. Bone dry. <laughs> Bone dry. Oh, there's tea in this one? Yeah. Green tea in the bigger picture. All right. All that bubbling. All the gases that are trying to come up. Causing all that bubbling, all the movement of lava. A lot happening down there. You can see the, the lava shoot right right to left, left to right. That's the gases that are down there. That's why you're getting all that bubbling. Pretty cool shot we found. I can see it was on like 2% bright. <laughs> Couldn't see a thing. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to lock things in a little tighter. Holy smokes, look at that. Wow. Whoa. Can't complain about that, huh? Mm -hmm. We were just talking the other day that sometimes the morning sh uh, shoots, once that sun comes up and the bog starts filtering through, we lose a lot of visibility. And some days like this, we luck out. I think it's because it's sugar. Yeah. <laughs> you were telling the numbers in your little cat. Right. Yeah. So they're giving you a break today. Helping us out. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's incredible. Love bath. Well, no. No. That doesn't sound no. right. <laughs> Um, um, what is the word that we usually use? Don't dip your toes in the lava. <laughs> yep. Ball salt.
me. All right, watch for the next outbreak. Pineapples, do you ever go after sunset? Is there a reason we prefer morning? It's more likely to clear. The primary reason that we don't come up here at sunset is the amount of people that are here. It's really busy. Yeah, it is packed. <laughs> and if you come in here neck at... Neck to neck, meaning you can feel their warmth and their breath. Yeah, they right just... At your neck. <laughs> everybody gets in shoulder to shoulder. I mean, it's too tight. Yeah. We have two parking lots you can use, the regular parking lot and then the overflow. And the last time we came up here at 7 o'clock to do an evening shoot, both parking lots were full, and uh, we had to wait to even get in a parking lot. We didn't. We just decided to go down Chain of Craters and not even come up here because there's too many people. It's not worth it. And the sunsets are beautiful. Oh, yeah, we love it. And this is a, it's just too busy. Yeah, and this is a great spot because it's you have the sun set directly in front of us, mm -hmm. but it's just too much with everybody. Marlene said, I set my alarm clock so I wouldn't miss you guys. I slept through the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Marlene. It's all right. <laughs> I to see you. Yeah. And we, we got up an hour earlier today so we could come up here. And wouldn't you know it, now this morning we have great view during sunrise. See what's going on in there. <laughs> Lava surfing. Looks like everything's kind of mellow. Here a little bit, see if we can see the wind all scoping up. Whoa, 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 there's the wind. Lava, hot wind. Is your hand warm though? Mm hmm. My hand is warm. <laughs> Warming. Aloha. I need two of my warmers to help you out. Well, thank you. doing this every day? No, we can't because it, some days it's just too wet up here. Um, we were up here, what, three days ago? Mm -hmm. Right? We try to get up a couple days a week. It's all weather permitting. And, and it depends on work. And work schedule too. You know, we have to wake up at, well, this morning we woke up at one. 
but during the week, you know, we'll wake up at one or two, come up here. It takes us a uh, little bit to get up here, stream and go home. It's a six hour process or so. And uh, then, then have to work during the day. So it all depends on rain and, and work. Two 4.0 and 6 down in Pahala. That woke me up. <laughs> if you're still here hanging with us and you haven't hit that thumbs up please do if you're not subscribed consider subscribing hit that big red button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that when we do come up here live you will get the little ding because sometimes we don't make a decision on coming up here until 7, 8 o'clock at night or 1 or 2 in the morning when we're checking the weather, checking the cams. So sometimes we're just spontaneous. How long is the stream? Well, we've been going for three hours and 30 minutes, and we're gonna wrap up probably in about another 10 minutes or so, because we've been standing out here for a long time. We're cold and tired, and not really tired, just a little hungry. So we'll probably stream for another 10 minutes or so, unless we see a, a massive outbreak. coming up to the park haven't been in two weeks so you'll see a huge difference in the caldera in the last two weeks more hand warmers yeah rob well that's changed i mean it changes every three days it seems the 
notifications are on. Good. Thank you very much. What happened? Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, she's bubbling down on the bottom left again. The bottom you see a massive lake. outbreak, you better run. Oh, yeah, let me get that. It would take a massive outbreak to get us up here. Let's zoom out. Engraver Caldera, yes, Kilauea Caldera. <laughs> a hot tub. It is a hot tub. <laughs> Oiling tub. Yeah. Let's go over that side now. And with that, the last little pull out, we'll pull back a little bit. <laughs> oh, you already got in position, didn't yes, you? Because you, you like to be right in front of the camera, I, I don't so much. Alright guys, we're going to flip this bird around here. That's it, can you see us? Here, hold on, you can't really see us. There we go, got to come a little closer. Thanks for joining us guys. We've got 3 hours and 36 minutes in the book. Good little show today. The weather was nice. See, you're not getting any closer. Uh, thanks for watching Volcano Verse. Appreciate everything. Had fun. Uh, let's do it again. Uh, Aloha. Aloha, Happy everybody. Happy Easter, everyone. Hit that thumbs up. Have a great Easter.
Like, you know. Isn't it?